Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we are back in Mayersdale touring the very new Mayersdale Nature Estate. We've seen so much around here and trust me, it doesn't disappoint when it comes to this estate. Behind me, a family home that is incredibly well designed and exceptionally unique and we're going to be showing you that in just a minute. Across its 1,100 square meters, it has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a beautiful Beautiful outdoor area along with a LARPA and so many other incredible features all on the market for 9,500,000 rand so come with me as we tour this incredible home behind me but remember you can also find your new home on privateproperty.co.za my name is Chad Riveros this is the private property home shopper show welcome home Here we are finally in this incredible family home. Now, during my intro, the keen eyed among you would see that this home is almost a mirror image from the front of the house. There's a entranceway on the left as well as the right, and both of those are flanked by two two-car garages. Now there is a wall, this one right over here, that splits the house down the middle. We've got one section here and another section on the other side in this beautiful vivarium right in the middle. The trees and, and well, forestation there stunningly illuminated. So this makes for an incredible family home. Not only have you got a lot of privacy, but if you do like to entertain guests or if you've got a very, very big family, you get to give them their own section of the house without them, well, maybe disturbing you. And we're going to be showing you all of this as we walk through the house. But let's take it from the top. This here is your reception area, really well equipped, spacious, incredibly tall ceilings with a stunning chandelier draped down crystal chandelier that plays with the light so well. We've got a staircase that wraps around and goes up to the first level where all your bedrooms are located as well as your office. But down here in terms of utility, we've got a spare bathroom just off to the left, your guest bathroom, and then an entryway to the garage off to the right. And coming down this corridor, that is where you're gonna find all your living areas. First up on the left hand side is your TV room just behind the sliding glass and wood door. It's perfectly situated, not just close to the kitchen for those snacks, but the rest of your living areas. It's a nice size to entertain your guests as well as yourself, where you can sit down and enjoy your favorite TV programs on those cold winter nights here in SA. We've got a fan down lighting as well as a window looking out onto the outside. So really everything you need. But up next is definitely time to check out the kitchen. Now the kitchen is exactly as well equipped as you'd want in a house of this magnitude. Up front and center is this massive center island, beautifully draped with some chandeliers that are fitted onto a bulkhead piece of wood that acts as probably the premier design element of this kitchen. Obviously we've got the chef sink and throughout the whole kitchen, not just here on the center island, we've got plenty of under counter storage, space for a double fridge and I'd say an extra wide double fridge, which I know is a must for a lot of us. And then we've got a coffee nook there with shelves and all of this over here where the magic is probably going to be happening. We've got a five top gas burner, freestanding oven, all beautiful decked out in stainless steel, as well as a stainless steel extractor and all of this countertop space for you to utilize as you wish, as well as some really cool display cabinetry. I mean, it's got frosted glass, but I love how it breaks up the wood here in the kitchen. I think it's a really cool feature, but my favorite feature has to be this, and you'll see how it comes to play in the rest of the house in a moment, is through here is your scullery. Obviously, this is standard with the rest of the sculleries. You've got your double sink, extra counter space, extra storage space, but it leads on into a laundry room, which I think is something that we do see missing from a lot of large homes, and then also into that vivarium we showed you earlier. So if you'd like to plant or mess around with those plants in your vivarium, you can do that. But this also connects the two halves of the home. And we're gonna show you how it connects when we explore the second half. Because right now, it's time for us to take a look at the other living areas. Let's go. And now the rest of the living areas, well, they just get better. I have to admit, I love how cozy and warm this house feels. And 
I think a lot of it might have to do with this fireplace cracking away in front of me, a stunning gas fireplace that's shared between the dining room area and the lounge area. But this dining room area in and of itself is absolutely perfect. It's spaced just right. Again, we've got some really nice chandeliers that match the decor and the design elements of the rest of the home. Over here, an eight-seater dining room table that fits very comfortably, allowing you to put whatever kind of decor or furniture that really makes your home appeal to your taste. And I love that this home is big enough to do that, but not so big to feel empty or almost intimidating. The lounge area shows that. It's much more spacious, again, but not too spacious, accommodating for a larger family. Everybody can spread out and have their own space while still being together and watching their favorite show. Above me, another fan, keeping the house cool. And then we've got a set of sliding stackable doors that's repeated on the dining room area side that opens up onto your outdoor area. This time, we've got a feature wall made out of face brick with two wall sconces that I think is that just extra cherry on top when it comes to the design of this home. And now it's time for us to take a look at the outdoors. We've got a massive L-shaped deck here that dominates the space. Off to my left-hand side, a beautiful wood bry area. And then we've got some shade netting that just allows you to relax and enjoy this regardless of the weather. The decking continues all the way to the other side of the home, but you can see what a massive dining room table, again, an eight-seater looks like in relation to this big area. Got a sparkling blue pool laid out in the middle, flanked by garden on the left and the right. And then on the other side of that pool, we've got a very, very special place that we're gonna leave for last. But now it's time for me to show you what the other half of this house looks like. As I mentioned, when I entered the home, it is split down the middle and is perfect for two families, with each of them having their side of the home. So if you've got an extended family, if you've got a son or daughter who's not ready to move out the house yet, but wants extra space, this is the perfect place for them. Now, this whole section is empty, so use your imagination as we go through it. You've seen the place that is decorated. You've seen the side that has got the family in it. Now you can only imagine what we can do with this side. There are some incredible features on this side of the house that I really don't want you to miss out on. So let's go take a look. Walking in through your slideable, stackable doors, you're greeted by stunning wood flooring and a roaring inbuilt fireplace with a stone setting all around it. Open windows letting a lot of natural light and a repeat of the fans above your head provide all the ventilation you might need. Sitting adjacent to your living areas is your kitchen, and this kitchen does not disappoint. You've got a huge open space that acts as your center island, beautiful lighting just above it, and then right there is your stainless steel gas oven with a five top burner with the extractor just above that. You've got not just one, but two sinks, one being your full double sink and the other one being your chef sink. Space for a double door fridge, plenty of under counter storage as well as above counter storage. And last but not least, the door that opens up onto your laundry area and the scullery of the main home, we could call it. I love the way this home has been made with so much care and attention to detail in mind. If we move a little bit further along, you find something that could be easily used as your dining room. And that there is also where your front door is. Moving away from your kitchen, you've got your entryway, your reception area framed by that beautiful Vivarian. Off to your right hand side, that is your front door or the front door for this section of the house. You also have access to your garage and your guest toilet here. But right now it's time to head up that set of stairs and see what this section's upstairs looks like. Coming up the stairs, we find where all the bedrooms are located, as I mentioned earlier. This section of the home, everything is unfurnished, but let me take you on a tour through it, and then we'll take a look at the furnished bedrooms. Coming down the corridor, we make our way to the first bedroom, which is beautifully carpeted with inbuilt cupboards, as well as a built-in study section. It also has an ensuite bathroom that is well equipped with not only your single vanity and mirror, but also a incredible jacuzzi bath, which is not something we often see. Coming further down the corridor on your left-hand side, that there is your office space or makeshift office space for upstairs or maybe even a games room. Beautiful mirror looking down onto your vivarium, which sums up what this bedroom has to offer. But now it is time to see this section's master suite. Coming further along the corridor, you see built-in cupboards on your left with a walk-in closet on your right-hand side. Spacious bedroom area with access to an outside balcony that is shared with 
three other bedrooms, one of those being the other section's master suite. It also has a stunning walk-in closet with double vanities in the bathroom, a shower, as well as a freestanding bathtub dominating the center of that bathroom. Very well equipped and something that we don't see very often and I'd love to see more of. Right now though, it is time to head back to the stairs and take it from there as we explore the furnished half of the other side of the home. Now with that section of the house behind me, we've got nothing but fully furnished sections up ahead. But where we are right now, as you can see, is the office. And it is the only room in this whole home that is shared. It spans across both the one section all the way across to the other. And you've got this stunning floor to ceiling domed window to show you that you are in an area that is most certainly quite special. Obviously, this doesn't need to be an office space. You can decorate this or refurnish it however you like. It has got incredible views, but also there is tons of space here. This could easily be a fully fledged office of your company. You can see you've got your boardroom desk there and four different cubicles, five if you count whoever's busy dealing with the printer here. But I really like this space. I like what you can do with it. And I also like that there's battery backup for this area of the home as well. But now it's time to head through these doors. Just behind me is the first set of stairs we spoke about as we entered the home. And we're gonna wrap all the way around and take a look at what these bedrooms look like. Follow me. The first bedroom we come into has got beautiful plush carpets and is very spacious. Built-in cupboards as well as another one of those built-in desks we saw earlier. A fan just above the bedroom with some down lighting. But this bedroom is easily spacious enough to accommodate another desk. As you can see, the armchair there in the corner is a very nice touch. So is a sliding glass door that opens up onto your balcony that we saw earlier with views down onto that sparkling blue pool. Coming down this passageway, we've got a bathroom just at the end of it. Now this bathroom services the bedroom I've just come out of and the bedroom I'm just about to head into, which is around this corner. The bathroom is very well equipped. You've got a large shower, freestanding bath, and single vanity as well as toilet in quite a spacious area. And just around this corner is the second bedroom. The second bedroom in this wing of the home is easily the sibling of the first. We've got those built-in cupboards flanking this wall with the built-in desk space. Plenty of space around here for whatever size bed you want and also for whatever else you might want to put in here. Yeah, we've got some inbuilt shelving or something that could act as another desk. Fan above the bed and then this right here, your sliding glass door that leads out onto your very own balcony although it is shared with three other bedrooms. So if you want to have some family time upstairs, you can definitely do it. And now it is time for our master suite. A long hallway leads you into the most well-equipped bedroom that this house has to offer. On my right-hand side, sliding glass doors letting in light, but also giving you access to that balcony. You've got two other windows on this wall and two others on this wall. So I love the fact that this bedroom is light and airy as well as spacious. Fan above my head, all of this clad in the thickest carpet. It is a pleasure to walk around this room. And then here we come to the bed and the feature wall. And you can see it in relation to the size of this room. Space for you to put up a TV, but also space for you to have a walk-in closet as well as bathroom. Let's check it out. Your walk-in closet is a simple yet luxurious affair. Four walls covered in cupboard space as well as shelving with mirrors and the perfect lighting for you to get ready however you see fit. And it leads directly into this, your ensuite master bathroom. On my right hand side, a freestanding beautiful tub flanked by two frosted windows. You've got your toilet tucked away behind some frosted glass for privacy. On my left hand side, double vanities, under counter storage and separate mirrors. And I love the bulkhead ceiling design of the wood. We saw that down in the kitchen as well. So that design elements translated through a couple of the rooms we've seen here. But my absolute favorite has to be where you guys are right now. You are currently standing in this home's steam shower, fully enclosed, very spacious. And I think the perfect time for you to while away some of the stresses of your work days. 
Now, it's time for us to head back downstairs and take a look at that last room I spoke about before we talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. To wrap up this home, we need to talk more about the pool area. I mentioned earlier that you've got a sparkling blue pool right in the center of the garden, flanked by two pieces of open space for your kids to enjoy. But on the other side, the far side of the pool, you've got this right here, your very own LARPA slash games room slash bra area slash whatever you really want to do with it. Two entrances, both flanked by sliding stackable doors, open up onto a space that is cozy, comfortable, and has all the features anybody who's building their own LARPA would wish theirs had. Thatch roof, your very own wrought iron, fully enclosed wood fireplace here, keeping the cold away in the winter time. You've got a built-in gas stove, and then all the way across, it's prep sink, under counter storage, and then your very own countertops here, beautifully finished in concrete. I have to admit, this is the kind of place I can see myself relaxing during the summer or the winter time because of the care and thought that they've put in when designing it. I have to admit, it is absolutely incredible. But it also does bring us to the end of the show. So come with me as we head outside and tell you how you can become the next owner of this incredible family home. Unfortunately, we have come to an end of this incredible episode, touring a family home that is anything but traditional. Let's recap what we've seen so far. Incredible living areas as well as bedrooms, views, and living in one of the most upmarket estates right here in Mayersdale. Across this 1,100 meters squared, you'll get five bedrooms as well as four bathrooms, some of them in suite, and in a four-car garage. All of the details of this listing are in the description below. And then if you'd like to become the next owner of this incredible home, what I'd like you to do is contact Louis van der Merwe or Ryan Kwan from Law Real Estate. All of their details are in that listing as well. All on the market for 9 million 500,000 Rand. Now make sure you don't miss out on any of the other incredible homes that we showcase on the Private Property Home Shopper Show. So like, share and subscribe to us on Instagram, YouTube as well as Facebook and we'll see you again every Friday right here on the Home Shopper Show. From myself, Chad Riveros and the team, thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.